N4HNH here listening to a soda station on 20 meter CW. Ah, oh, there he is. Well, that was the R5 vertical at first. Now I'm on my 160 meter ladder fed dipole. Has a significant gain over the R5. Switching over to a uh, off-center fed dipole there. Back to the 160. The off-center fed dipole is at uh, 50 feet. There's the off-center fed. The 160 meter dipole is at 45 feet. It's cut for 160, but it's actually resonant on 17 and 20. That works everything else with the tuner. It's not my best 40 meter antenna though, but it's a great for 75 and 80 and uh, 17 and 20. There he is on the R5 vertical, or there he isn't. There we are back on the 160 meter dipole. He's in California. I'm here in Georgia. I'm sorry, he's in Arizona, West Coast. There's the off center fed. Back to the 160. I'm gonna kick one more in here in a second. This one will be a ZS6 Bravo Kilo Whiskey, Z ZS6 BKW. That's still the 160 there. Came up a little bit. Uh, when he transmits again, I'll switch over. There's the ZS6 BKW. It's definitely my best receiving antenna for lower noise floor. Back to the 160. Uh, the 160 is... Uh, Oriented more or less as a lazy dipole. You know, the ends aren't as high as the middle. This is that S6 BKW is oriented uh, more or less as an in inverted V. If you're not familiar with the ZS6 BKW, I encourage you to look those up. It is a great antenna. It's my best 40 meter antenna. It's a computer optimized version of the G5RV. Uh, Brian Austin, ZS6BKW, came up with new numbers for the G5RV. Basically, instead of 102 feet in, in width, fed in the middle, it's about 94 and some change. And the uh, the window line coming down from the feed point is uh, like 39.1 feet. So you got to get it up 40 feet. Mine's at 45. But again, it's my best 40 meter antenna, but on uh, 20, it's hard for it to compete. There it is. Okay, we're going to go back to the... Uh, 160 when he transmits again. There we are back on the 160. I mean, it's just tremendous gain. You know, with the gain, you get a, you, you've got major lobes is what it is. You've also got some nulls. But it does really well for me towards West Coast and Europe. Okay, uh, just thought uh, I'd uh, take another opportunity here to... Uh, show the difference between different types of antennas. I love wire antennas. Uh, you can't have too many. They're all good at different times of day, different times of the year, certain bands. Uh, in the case of uh, 17 meters and 20 meters, it's very, very hard for the other antennas to compete with uh, the amount of wire in the air 
for the uh, 160 meter dipole. All right, in for H and H out.